Hi guys, are you as excited as I am to see Jackie Chan and The Foreigner come up here in a less than two months? I'm very excited. It looks fantastic. I've seen that trailer probably ten times. The other day, I randomly had YouTube on just kind of the background while I was cleaning and doing other stuff, and it was on autoplay. And the trailer, of course, for The Foreigner came up again. And then it went to a bunch of reaction videos of people watching the trailer. I normally don't really watch reaction videos. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, some times I'll watch maybe certain favorite YouTubers like uh, Happy Console Gamer, but usually stay away from it. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It was really just, it, it really irked me. Like it was something that like I shouldn't care so much, but it like it really, really annoyed me because I really, really love Jackie Chan. I always have, ever since I was a kid, and I've always tried to um, see everything he's ever been in. It's always been like my goal, and I've tried to keep up with everything. And just some of the comments, it really dawned on me how much so many people only know him from his, we'll call it Hollywood movies. Stuff like uh, The Spy Next Door, like the Rush Hour movies, you know, Shanghai Noon, Shanghai Nights, that, all those types of movies. And the comments like, Wow, Jackie Chan being really serious in a movie. He's never done that before. What the hell are you talking about? Crime Story is, what, 24 years old? 25 years old now? It's, it's almost as old as I am. Um, it just It's unbelievable what, what you've missed. And this is really, not to chastise those people, as much as it really annoyed me um, to hear that and comments like, looks like he's really bringing out his acting chops in this one. He doesn't really usually have to outside of just the, the stunts and the comedy. Jackie Chan is a great actor. And he is a very varied actor. He's done everything from straight comedy, straight action, action comedy, which is where he's definitely at his best, especially in the 80s, like the Golden Age, Project A, Project A2, going, you know, first couple police stories, everything. Um, but he's also a really good dramatic actor, and you can see that in movies as far back as the late 80s, and then even recently, some like the new, like new police story, police story lockdown, uh, Shinjuku incident, some more serious uh, type, types of roles there, really kind of leaving out a little more of the comedy element. Um, he is just a very talented, varied actor, and I think part of what annoyed me about that on top of it is just the reaction of Jackie Chan, especially within the past, I'd say, 10 or 15 years or so, a lot of interviews and behind-the-scenes stuff, I mean, there's always been, he's always been very open about expressing um, his, how he's perceived in America versus the rest of the world, particularly in Asia, uh, China and Hong Kong specifically, uh, and how a lot of his movies get cut for American audiences and, and very poorly, poorly cut. Uh, things like um, Super Cop, um, that was cut, the, the cut for theaters, uh, Miramax, I think, originally, just really butchered a lot of that movie, um, even things like um, Mr. Canton and, and Lady Rose, Miracles, whatever you want to call it here, Black Dragon, sometimes printed as, so many different movies. Uh, they're, they're cut from the American audience, and they're kind of dumbed down in a lot of ways. But on top of that, he's become more and more open as he gets older from interviews that I've seen about how he doesn't want to just be remembered as the great stunt master. He really is the greatest stunt master of all time. Everyone's going to have their different opinions on who's their favorite martial arts star, someone like uh, you know Bruce Lee, Jet Li, Sammo Hung, go on and on, whatever. But I really think that unequivocally, Jackie Chan is like the most creative, most over-the-top crazy master of stunts ever. And he is an amazing action comedy star and that's really where he made his mark. He tried he forced his way out of try everyone, you know, at that at the time when he was really getting started trying to be the next Bruce Lee. And you can see that in a lot of his earlier films when he finally was able to say, no, this is my style, I'm gonna do things my way and really get things rolling with the action comedy. But at the same time he's also a really good dramatic actor and he's been saying so much about how he doesn't want to just be remembered as the action comedy guy. He also wants to be remembered and respected as a more varied actor who's someone who is also a good dramatic actor and he's a really good dramatic actor even in some of those action comedies he has some great moments uh, something as recent as say like Robin B Hood um, it's a great like funny family friendly kind of action comedy it has some really touching emotional moments in that movie and then of course you have the darker stuff like Crime Story and other ones I had mentioned which are largely more about the big dramatic um, serious tone and acting. Jackie Chan is a really good actor and this is really just to bring that message out there to maybe some of you who haven't gone back and experienced things that weren't theatrical re releases um, in the United States and things like stuff like uh, Around the World in 80 Days and that kind of stuff. Uh, go back and look 
and check out some of not just his older work, but really try and see a variety of his work. He's done so many different things, and look and see how great of a dramatic actor he can also be, not just a comedic actor. And I'll also say, if you do like um, a lot of his movies like Rush Hour, Shanghai Noon, Shanghai Nights, and those aren't bad movies, I'm not bashing those movies, I really like them, um, but if you're seeing them, you're still not even seeing the best of what you think Jackie Chan is. A lot, most of his best true martial arts moments, most of his best like stuff like uh, Spartan X, Meals on Wheels, that kind of stuff, most of his um, best like stunt work, uh, things like the Police Story movies, you know, Drunken Master 1 and 2, those are my two uh, favorites overall. Um, just, you're not seeing the best of the best of Jackie Chan if you're only watching his, again, quote-unquote Hollywood movies. And you're also not really getting um, a, a touch of his, his dramatic side, his real, real acting chops. I really suggest you go and watch a variety of older Jackie Chan movies. Um, I, I really particularly love that um, 80s through the very early 90s kind of golden age of Jackie Chan with most of his original stunt team and that kind of stuff. But there even uh, sporadically later on some, some uh, late 90s, early 2000s stuff has been really good. But definitely just go back and I really urge you to check out more Jackie Chan and really get an image of who this man is and give him the proper respect that he deserves not just as a great martial artist, as a great physical showman, as a comedic action star and wonderful stunt person, but someone who is also a quality actor.